Aloha and welcome to another Roland MC707 tutorial. I am Unit E and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the 707 and Logic Pro so that you can record the audio of all eight of your tracks and the external input. It's quite simple and there's only one thing you need to do on the 707 to get it set up and that is to make sure you have the right USB vendor selected or USB driver, sorry, selected. It should be set to vendor. But let's take a look. Hold shift and press knob assign to get into your menu, utility menu. Go ahead and hit enter on settings or C4 like a button. You'll be under the control tab and you're going to want to scroll down until you get to USB driver. You can scroll with C3 or using your arrow keys. Look at your USB driver and make sure it says vendor. If it does not and it says generic, switch it over to vendor and then you will have to turn off the 707 and then turn it back on to confirm the change of driver. Once you have it on vendor and you do have a project loaded up, you can go ahead and take a look at Logic Pro. When starting a new project in Logic Pro, you might see this screen here or another one that says new projects or templates. Choose new project so you get the choice of software instrument, audio, so on and so forth. Choose audio. And if you have already installed the driver for the 707 with your Mac operating system, then you will see the device MC707. If it does not pop up right away, click the preferences and then choose your input and output device. MC707 both ways is fine. Once you have that, I also go over to MIDI and I go down to MIDI sync project settings. And the first thing that pops up is this MIDI under synchronization tab. All I have to do is select a destination of MC707 and I send the clock and you can select MIDI time clock and probably MIDI machine control. I believe those will help you out. Close that window. Close this window. Now you're set up to go. First thing you want to do is choose your inputs. We are going to record each one of these tracks and we want them in stereo. As you can see, you got input 1 through 20 as mono. Those are all your inputs, including the external input and your stereo mix out. Moving down into stereo pairs, you see 1 and 2. This is your mix out where your quarter inch cables are generally going off to your monitors or your main output. 3 and 4 is going to be track 1, and so on forth, sorry, down to 17, 18, which is track 8. Input 19, 20 is your external in, so if anything is coming in through there, you can record that separately. Choosing 3, 4, and then clicking ascending, and choosing 9 tracks, and then making sure your output is set to one, two also. That is your mix output. And you want input monitoring so you can monitor all the inputs that are coming in. If you wish to record and enable everything right away, click that too. I just choose to input monitor. Anyway, you have your nine tracks. You have these settings here. Click create. It gives you nine tracks right away that are audio input tracks. Each one is a track on the 707 with nine being the external input. If you want to record it, simply click record arm on audio one. Generally, it should record arm all your tracks. From there, you can simply hit record and it will start playing your 707 and recording whatever you have playing based on your fader positions. So make sure faders are up to where you'd like them to be and then start your playback or performance. Here we go. As you notice, it has a count in and it paused the 707 from playing until it counted in. We'll do a couple scenes here for a quick recording and then play it back to see how it goes. Let's bring in a couple more tracks. 
watch on the screen. And we can bring in one more track and then we'll go ahead and cut it out. finish it out. So there I have a quick recording of just a couple clips and scenes. As you can see, you can have them playing for as long as you like and tweak them, improvise over them, do whatever you want and you'll have the recording of them. There you go. Hit the spacebar to stop. I accidentally hit the 707 stop first, but that's okay to give me some quiet room at the end. Anyway, let's go back to the beginning here, and we're going to do a playback. But before we do, let's turn all the faders down on the 707 so we don't hear the actual 707 machine outputting as well. We just want to hear logic. Let's disarm the record enables before we play it back. There we go. And spacebar. Sounds great. Skip ahead. Sounds good. Anyway, nice and easy. A few simple instructions, a couple steps, and you have your nine tracks ready to go ahead and record. Now, before you do any recording, Go into File and Save as a Template. When you do so, you'll be able to name it MC707 if you wish, or MC707 with external in, however you like to do it, and then go ahead and save it in the default location. Now, for hanging in at the end, the reason I wanted to say that you might just want to do eight tracks and then individually make a couple new audio tracks here, is with this new audio track, you can go in and choose that new track and then choose your input and choose, a, uh, change it from stereo to mono and then go ahead and choose input, uh, what are we, uh, nine and 10. So nine being your left external input and 10 being the right external input. If you're running two mono synths into it or two mono um, pieces of hardware, then you'll be able to track them out individually. You just have to go in separately and add these after because when you do the ascending, you'll kind of bring in the stereo one, two as well. If you do that, that might be your desire. But otherwise, I usually do the stereo tracks and then if I have two monos on my external input, I'm going to bring these in separately so I can track them separately as well. That's all I wanted to say about that for the end. Thanks for hanging in with me. I hope you understood what was going on here and can put it to use. It's a really great feature, really simple to do. Anyway, hit subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Ring the bell if you want to be notified. And as always, thanks for watching.